Hello, welcome to the Warframe Collective. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Dread, and we are actually going to be putting the Dread up against the Dread Incarnate just to see how it performs. Now, the first thing we're going to do is start by looking at the base stats of this weapon. Now, as you can see, at base, it comes with a 50% crit chance with a three times crit multiplier, and it does. 23 puncture damage as well as 23 impact damage but most of its damage is dealt in slash at 190. so the first thing we're going to do is test this thing out with no mods and as you can see it hits for about 292 to 276 with a bleed damage of 853 and as you'll notice eventually as we keep shooting at this guy this thing actually breaks through his armor pretty well and i'm actually fairly impressed at a dread with no mods on it look at that i think the dread pretty much speaks for itself now if we go ahead and switch to the incarnate mode as you can see the incarnate mode is actually less effective. It hits for about 165 to 65 damage. And that is not that impressive. But keep in mind, this doesn't have any mods on it. But we're going to keep shooting at this guy to see if we can break through his armor with a dread incarnate with no mods on it. Spoiler alert, we can't do that. We're going to actually end up eating through all of our ammo before we take out this guy. As you can see, we have seven shots left on the Dread Incarnate, and we're not even going to be able to get through half of this guy's health. But keep in mind, this doesn't have any mods on it, so we're going to have to see how it performs with a full build on it but at base the dread is killing the dread incarnate now let's go ahead and put a build on it this is going to be the build we're running with pretty standard nothing special this is my build go ahead and build the way you want this is just the one that i enjoy using Now, once again, we are going to be testing this out against some level 160 corrupted heavy gunners as well as corrupted bombards. And then we're going to go ahead and switch to Xmas units. But as you can see, with a full build on it, the base dread actually does some pretty decent work. I'll let you guys be the judge of it. So as you can see, the Dread with the full build on it is actually pretty nasty. And that punch through is just allowing the weapon to eat through the enemy behind it before the initial target is even killed. So next, we're going to be using the Dread Incarnate. And one thing you're going to notice right here is the punch through on the Dread Incarnate is nowhere near as effective as the base Dread was. And I feel the reason for that is the Dread Incarnate switches the Dread from slash based damage to impact based damage. But the next thing I want to do is I want to go back to the normal base Dread and we're going to be putting the normal base Dread up against some Eximus units to see how this weapon performs. And once again, you're going to notice that punch through on the base dread to tap the guy behind the initial target before killing the Blitz Eximus. 
And as you can see, once the dread starts to ramp up in damage, the dread is absolutely nasty. So that's what the Dread does. So next we're going to try out the Dread Incarnate and we're going to be putting that up against the Eximus units to see how the Dread Incarnate performs. Now one thing you're going to notice about the Dread Incarnate is if you do not already have primary Deadhead active, it's going to take a minute for your damage to ramp up and even with the buff I just got from galvanized scope it still takes a while to eat through these guys but once you get through the first guy you can proc primary deadhead and your damage does start to ramp up but even then as I am proceeding to take these guys out I am still running out of ammo in my incarnate form to deal with these guys now as you can see i have three shots left right here and still two eximus units remaining and i have all my damage buffs up but unfortunately that's still not gonna be enough to kill both of these guys but it is enough to kill one but luckily the dread is still such a beast that you can easily proc the incarnate form once again by simply shooting this guy in the face but the thing is the base form is so good why the fuck would you even want to proc the incarnate form again when you can simply do that to a motherfucker so yeah guys this is where we're at the base dread is actually really really good where the Dread Incarnate is actually just pretty good and very situational. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace.